this late. I didn't realize it. When I looked at um, Google Maps on my phone. Oh, that's why I can't cover it up. Cannot cover up the mic. There we go. Mike is free now. There we go, little Mike. Oh, poor little Mike. Oh, he couldn't catch my sound. So I had to move my hand away from the mic. Oh, poor thing. Okay, you good now, little Mike? Okay. That's good. I just want to make sure. <laughs> my last vlog. One hour. Four minutes long. Why is that? You know, it's it takes a lot of time to edit video. And when you try to be precise as possible, that takes even longer. So, uh, but amazingly, that video did not take long to render. It really didn't. But um, I was like, okay, that's some, <laughs> yeah, that's really pushing it because I complained when one of my vlogs was 30 minutes long. I was like, wow, that's just too long. And now it's an hour and four minutes on that last one. I had a lot of things to say, I guess. And it seems like on this vlog, this vlog is going to get is going to be pretty long too. So there's going to be a change, and it's always changes. Okay, my vlogs are never set in stone. There is going to always be changes. Now, things that will continue to be, the time that shows um, for every video that I that I that comes on. For instance, uh, every time I start the video recording. The phone records a time and date, and and that's what I display on the screen. If I edit within that same video clip, of course, you don't see that time again uh, until I start the video over again. So each new video clip has a new time. That will allow me to determine where I can insert uncut videos. So here's what I'm going to do from now on. And maybe this will cut down the vlogs a lot too. It would require more work on my part though. That's the only thing. Because what I would love to do is to go to each of the uncut videos and add a, a, you know, a link back to the vlog if you wanted to watch the longer version. So you're listening to my vlog now. Let's say you listen to me now, and I decide to edit half of this for the actual vlog itself. But you wanted to continue to hear what I'm saying. Um, there will be a link that will... Well, there's a cop. Yeah, go get him. <laughs> oh, let me get out of the way. <laughs> there was another one there. Yeah, I don't think they would have saw me either. They would have ran me over. This is good. And then call it my fault because I'm the one jaywalking. Because I'm breaking the law, not them. All right, so what was I saying? So um, what we're going to do, and this is going to take a lot of work on my part, is all the different video clips will still be in the vlog, but it's going to be cut shorter. But what you're going to be able to do is using annotations of YouTube, which is a great feature, thanks to YouTube and Google, which is the reason why I don't, I don't say I hate Google. I just don't like Android. <laughs> okay. This won't work on mobile phone playback. That's the only caveat to this. Um, the mobile phone playback still doesn't allow annotations, so um, that's the only bad part. <laughs> So this won't work so well on mobile phones, more I think about it. But I'm going to try my best to integrate all the uncut videos along with the main videos that you see here in a form of an annotation. So if you needed to hear more of what I'm saying, you can always click on that annotation, listen to the uncut videos, and then click on another link that will take you back to the original video. Uh, another way to do that is, uh, since I'm creating a playlist for each of the, of the shows, 
that will allow you to see all the uncut videos on under one list, which will make it easy. Uh, I think that would be a very easy way of implementing that feature, even on a mobile phone. You just have to go to the description below. And you know, there's there's different ways to do it, and I guess I'll have to come up with a way that will work best, and we'll see. Uh, I think it will be a nice feature to add a link to all the uncut videos and make it easy for you guys to watch shorter vlogs but with the option of watching a longer clip. And as long as YouTube is in business, you know, that will be a good thing for for all of us, I guess. Ah, it's telling me that I have 15% battery life on this thing. I've been recording a lot tonight. And so like tonight, I've just been kind of going tonight, boy. I've just been going. Wow, that's a good thing. This is in a good, I'm, I'm in a good mood today, you know. Today was a great day. Uh, we had a lot of uh, requests that came in for after directory at Whole Foods, and um, for the last three or four weeks, and it's been nothing but over 500, 600, 700 requests, and it's been very hard for us to catch up. Last night we were down to zero. We finally caught up, but that's because there's when there's you know holidays when during the holidays they hire a lot of people. Well, by now they got the people they need, and it's not as many requests. Plus, the Northeast was affected by Hurricane Sandy, so those stores have slowed down in their requests. But we may see an influx of requests from the Northeast because they're trying to catch up, you know. Especially stores that have power restored. You know, there are stores they're they're opening again. They're cleaning up the mess, and they're opening their stores again. And uh, so we're going to probably see a lot more coming from the Northeast. The Northeast has been real slow. Other places uh, throughout the United States are coming in regularly and normally, um, like it's not a holiday because they already got their holiday workers. So they, there's no need for them to submit requests. Now, what happens after the holidays is, of course, when the employees leave, they finish their holiday work, their accounts are no longer needed, so, of course, they're going to submit requests to deactivate their, their accounts. So we're going to get a shitload of deactivations coming in, which is going to uh, be another pain in the ass for, for like a month or so. As far as job is concerned, yesterday I was uh, speaking to a lady who um, is going to be, who works at Dell. She's a Dell recruiter. And... The job is SharePoint. Um, they need a SharePoint person, but also they need someone to work their Joomla and Drupal sites as well as WordPress. So I'm thinking myself, I went to Dell, and I'm like, this is a Joomla or a Drupal? Wow. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I, I'm kind of surprised because usually enterprise websites, they use Duke Nukem or even more powerful content management systems. They use those very powerful ones, but Dell, if they use Joomla or Drupal, I'm, I'm like, that's interesting. <laughs> I never thought a large company like Dell would be using that. And I mean, and the thing is, so I don't know what they use it for. I mean, it could be an internet site for all I know. And they also have SharePoint. I mean, who knows? But um, I'll be the administrator of Joomla Drupal, WordPress, and SharePoint. Now, for the last few years after the Army, I've been doing t uh, telephone support with the exception of Whole Foods. At Whole Foods, I've been, you know, just taking on tickets, you know, active directory requests. Now, I'll be an administrator over, you know, content management systems as well as SharePoint and stuff like that. So that's going to be a different kind of job for me, and that's going to be a very interesting job. I'm very familiar with SharePoint. I'm very, very familiar with Joomla. I um, know WordPress like the back of my hand, and I know a little bit about Drupal. You know, there's, you know I might have to learn a couple of things, but what's the difference? You know, Drupal is just another content management system, really. And so if I get – and one thing is, they looked at my resume and they thought 
that I'm the perfect guy for the job, and I'm in the top, you know, top. I am the number one pick. They told me I was the number one pick, but just like any other job, they still have to interview other people. But they say, yeah, you're the best because there are people who knew Share, who know SharePoint, but they really don't know much about Joomla or Drupal or anything like that. And there are people who know about Joomla and Drupal, but they don't know anything about SharePoint. And, but they said, that, yeah, if you know about that and you know about Active Directory, Exchange, you know about this and that and the other, oh, yeah, you're the perfect guy for the job. We just have to talk to other people real quick. So I'm like, go for it. I'll take it. And it pays a little bit more than what Whole Foods is paying. I, told, I already told her, I said, I'll take it. I, I want it. I want the job. And I'll be working for a computer hardware company. Yes. Yes. A computer hardware company, folks. Dell. That is exciting. My ultimate dream job is Microsoft. I do admit that. I will love to be an employee of Microsoft. But I will take Dell in a heartbeat. I mean, I'll be like, Dell, take me in. Because who knows, one day, Microsoft may give me a call off of a resume that I submitted from, on their website. They may. You know, who knows? Anything can happen. Hell, I never thought that I would have got a call from Dell. I never would have thought it. You know, Dell called me. Really? Huh. Interesting. Thank you. You know, uh, fifteen percent on my battery here. Uh, the phone may just call up on its own, but if it does, oh well. I'm almost, almost home right now. In fact, I'm just right around the corner. All this walking. Oh my God. I mean, I'm just been walking and walking. Walking and walking and walking some more. That's all I do is walk. Just walk. Just walking. Just walking and walking. And and it's just, um, but it's doing a lot of good things for my, I guess it's good for your health when you walk a lot. I definitely need to get some uh, better shoes, you know, some good walking shoes, especially uh, with the winter coming. Uh, it's going to get warmer this week. But with the winter coming, it's going to get colder and colder, you know, for the, through the rest of the year before the sun decides to come our way again for daylight savings time. So it's definitely, and you know, and very important for me to go ahead and get some good walking shoes and something that will keep my feet warm as well. But yeah, all this walking—I mean, I guess I'm seeing, I am seeing a difference in my face. And I noticed I haven't been showing my face of it because I haven't really been vlogging. I haven't really vlogged during the day or during sunlight much. And one reason why is because I'm at work, and I really don't have a lot to say when I'm at work. <laughs> and I can't vlog when I'm at work. Of course, I'm at work. I'm working. You know, I'm I'm actually on the job, so there's not a whole lot that I can do on the camera. And I don't blog inside the house because, you know, even though my wife, uh, she is more okay with me shooting inside our room, um, you know, basically, we, don't, we have our night clothes on and we're not really, you know, uh, dressed for the occasion, you know, say like that, most of the time when we're at home. It's like as soon as I get home, I'm, I'm going to sit back, relax, cook some, cook some to eat, and be done, you know? All right, so I'm almost home right now. Um, I'm almost there. I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing off because this thing is beeping at me. It's about battery. Bat. My bat is low. I'm at almost at 15 minutes. It's 14.30 right now on the video recording. Peace out.